Hey, it's me, Zay for Beeble Brox, the British tech guru. This, if you'll remember, is the rather suspect battery tester from Harbour Freight that could not really give me an accurate reading on a battery. Now, since I've discovered that other people are having the same issue, so, ah, there's a screw there. So, rather than beating over the same ground and saying it doesn't work, wah, wah, wah. Let's have a look and see why it doesn't work. So we're going to unscrew this and I'm afraid, yes, my hands look like great big lumps of meat. And to the average African lion, they are great big lumps of meat. Uh, and to the average zombie, of course, And I have, in fact, met some zombies, real-life zombies. Now, you wouldn't believe that uh, there were real-life zombies. But yes, there genuinely are real-life zombies. They turn up to political meetings and toe the line and don't ask questions and act like little, good little zombies. Yes. Ooh, that's not wanting to come out, is it? That really is... It's almost out, just not wanting to come out the last... Ah, oh, there it is. Good. Got it. Now, let me see. This is screwed together, so let's just pry it. There's nothing lost by prying it. Bit of brutality never, never hurt. Somewhere here, it's going to come apart. I can guarantee it will come apart. The only one screw that I could find. So, let's see. It's not wanting to come apart that way. It's the top wanting to come off. interesting why is it not wanting to come apart and it's wanting to come apart that far what about this side is there another screw holding it as far as i can tell there is no other screw holding it must be glued or something well that's really queer it's not coming apart eh. I might have to pause this while I get into some real brutality. Well, I've managed brutally to remove the one side. And if you notice, it, some of the plastic broke there. And looking at it, you can see right there, the plastic on this side has got a screw through it right there. Don't know whether you can see the screw right at the tip of my. Let me put the screwdriver there. There, right at the tip of the screwdriver, there's a there's a screw. So it looks very much like this thing has been put it together, and then this has been glued into place. So let me continue the brutality. A bit more brutality later, and um, it turned out that this bit whichever bit I've just removed, this bit, um, there are actually two tiny screws. There's one there, and another one there that we're holding the side on. That was um, unexpected, but I can see there are more screws. And uh, this thing has been put together, never to be disassembled. But we're going to beat it. I have possibly found the key. I just peel this fascia up. Which I had not realised it was going to be necessary. And now I find two screws. See if this screwdriver will undo them. Probably won't.
might be doing it. I don't know. I might have to get my other screwdriver. This, by the way, was a, a screwdriver that came... It has undone it. Came with one of those Chinese things. I, it came with my 3D printer, actually. They like these tiny screws in China. Chinese are very good at building very small things. Right, now we've got that off. And what do we see here? We see a circuit board. And can we get that circuit board up? Yes, there's another screw. They do like their little tiny screws, don't they? Oh, good Lord. I think it's coming out. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I need my other screwdriver. And here we are with my other screwdriver. Let's see what we can do. Oh yes. Right. Will this come up? No, there's another screw. These screws are so tiny. It's really hard to see them. Oh, and there's another screw. Good Lord. They do like their screws. Any more screws? No. Okay. What do we have here? A lot of microelectronics. Very micro. I see a whole load of resistors. I think... I think this is a Zener diode. Um, not really a whole lot to say about this, and the chip is going to be this blob here. That's going to be the operating thing. Um, looking at it, I've got the... I've got an LCD display here. So, as I said, the chip is this blob. I have an LCD display that... Um, yeah, I, I really don't think there's anything in this circuit that I actually use, or reuse, or recycle. Um, in the battery holder is a bit iffy. Yeah. Cheap, made to be disposable, more harbour freight crap. And it's been me, Zafo People Rocks, the British Tech Guru. I'll see you in the next video.